glass fiber fill also. Test it out. We're shooting uh, steel ball bearings at about 220 feet per second. These are uh, half inch steel. It's here, here. I was able to split the whole thing. Okay, now this time we're going to be testing out the polycarbonate ones. This is a polycarbonate scorpion, and uh, you can see here on the tips of it that it's a little bit smaller and weaker there than it should be. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim at those and the uh, See, we can split it as well, but I doubt it because it's polycarbonate and, and is therefore almost bulletproof. So let's check it out. Okay, again, shooting at about 220 feet per second, half inch. Steel, hardened steel ball bearing. Actually, I didn't do anything to it. it was the clip it knocked, the clip finally released. Let me show you what show you what it's doing here on this uh, slingshot so far. Let's see if you can, you can see that there's no no damage to the slingshot at all right now. There's just little uh, some little dents in it. See dents in it. Let's shoot it some more.
Okay, it actually broke the uh, wire on here, but as you can see, the slingshot, I'm going to try to have it in the sun here where you can see it. Let's see, here we go. As you can see, the slingshot has dents all over it. And you can see where here, right there where I hit it a few times trying to break this little pit, bit off here, didn't do it. There, 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 there. This one is actually perfectly shootable. You can take this slingshot out and shoot it right now. Even though it's been shot up like that so many times. This is the polycarbonate version of the, the slingshots. And you can see this is a vastly superior material to take a shock from four kids or anything else. A little bit lighter than the glass filled nylon, but uh, that's not all bad either. You know, lighter weight. It's a very thick design anyway. Alright guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.